Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago I showed you guys a little video explaining the brand new Maco Simulations uh, free apps that are available to the community to use and download uh, covering a bit of a scratch pad really to help you get the most out of um, maybe a second screen or a tablet that you might have when you're flying along on VATSIM and you don't want to constantly scribble everything down on a pen and paper um, for example but it's gone even further since and uh, as always thanks to MacoSim for progressing it and developing it actually at quite a pace I've got to say um, so we're here again at uh, MacoSim's Manchester Airport make sure you hit like and subscribe down below as well and let me know what you think in the comments below as I go through all of the brand new features for the Maco apps so let me show you guys the latest updates what I will suggest is if you have a Maco sim account and you've got Birmingham or Manchester or if you're watching this in the third airport which I can't talk about has been released which is really cool then log into your macosim.com account or go to macosim.com and click to download the Maco manager and that will manage all of your updates and installs for you but it will also give you access so you can run the Maco manager like so as a program on your desktop which is really cool uh, but if not you can go to the link in the description for today's video and you can view it as a web page on Chrome, Safari, that sort of thing so you can already see on the scratch pad we've got a couple of different features and the first one is at the very top right you can see VATSIM and Pilot ID so what I'm about to show you guys is reliant on the fact that you will need to have filed a flight plan on VATSIM before this feature here works so I've gone ahead and done that for this Boeing 747-8 in the awesome channel livery thanks to Frex and I've put in my VATSIM CID at the top right but yeah, you know, if you've got IVAO you can use that as a drop down and you can put in your login details for IVAO and the same thing happens it will pull it out of their servers which is really cool so all you have to do is hit fetch flight plan and there we go currently on VATSIM there's no controller at Manchester so it's telling us that it can't pull the ATIS information directly from VATSIM but that's fine if there was a controller online and an ATIS had been generated then it would feed that into the new thing at the very top here where it says ATIS under clearance uh, around the center of the Maco manager screen that you can see here at the top then it's pulled in all of our data for the route today so you can see that we are Osprey 165 going to uh, going to Barbados out of Manchester and it's given us our call sign here which is really cool if we're in the States say for example we're doing uh, San Diego to Chicago we could go FAA and we could insert the current ATIS for the airport there but if not VATSIM or IVAO is our options we can pull in our latest ATIS information we can pop in as usual as before the stand number and if we had an ATIS, for example it would be Bravo, we could make sure that's in there too. And we can click SID. And what it now does is it pulls in all of the data for the SIDs and STARS at the airport, which is a really cool feature. So, say for example, as, as me uh, one Zulu departure. And we'd get our clearance and it'd be 4578 for example. There's our estimated departure time and you can see our routing as well which is really cool. So we can see that we've got a random routing oceanic from Dinham, a load of waypoints all the way to uh, a waypoint just prior to Barbados. We've got our cruise level there of 36,000 feet and a transition altitude of 5,000 and a popular thing in the States but sometimes we get it in the UK as well and elsewhere when you're getting your clearance on VATSIM, which is what this page is for, or IVAO, you might be told by the controller, um, initial climb, um, 4,000 feet, for example. We can put that in there. But it's also relating to that SID. So if, for example, the standard instrument departure had an initial climb of 6,000, we could put that in there as well so we know. And then we can just click Insert Live Meta, and in it goes. And you'll see... Uh, from feedback that I raised when it first got released we've changed the visibility so it will not go any further than 10,000 
meters or 10 kilometers because in reality your metal will show just uh, visibility 10 kilometers or more so now that's topped max of 10,000 and the cloud base is still in feet if you go to the settings cog on the top right of the screen uh, what you can do is you can change your measurements so if you want it in miles instead of meters you can do so you know meters instead of feet and if you're in the US then inches of mercury is a good option there for you so you can tweak all this as with Fahrenheit too and uh, there's plenty of options for you to tweak it to whatever you guys prefer another great option here is if for example we're at Manchester as we are and we had air traffic control online and we had clearance delivery ground tower and approach if we click this cog on the right hand side the little radio beacon it would open up and show us all of the frequencies that we need to tune to for the VATSIM network that we're connected to which is a exceptionally cool feature and it means that instead of having to write down all of our different frequencies to then tune them later on we can just keep this tab open on our second screen for example and all the rest of it is as you guys will remember now you'll notice at the very top of the screen there are additional options here so there's now a meta ATIS and top of descent calculator so if we hit meta and we want to get the meta for example for Dublin EIDW you know, we're flying en route to that prior to going oceanic we could pop it in there click get and you can see here we've got the full meta at the very top and then it's decoded for you guys so you can see exactly what each of the things mean throughout the report without having to worry about decoding things if you're not quite sure how to do that yet very cool feature and then ATIS information if Gatwick is online we can go to EGKK get and there we go so we can see Gatwick information Mike and it pulls up the latest ATIS information which is really handy if we're flying into an airport with VATSIM and we've got this tab open we can just type in to get our ATIS information to help plan the arrival and again there's IVAO and FAA for real world ATIS information in the US as well which is very very cool as you can see so FAA KJFK and that's the actual ATIS right now as I record this at JFK next tab top of descent again you can change your pilot ID VATSIM or IVAO and if you fetch your flight data you can see that you're flying into Barbados in this example there's no stars it's a VOR and you could type in that you're at 36,000 feet and you want to descend down to 8,000 feet and currently you're going to descend at 290 but you want to target speed of 240 and there you go standard three degree glide slope which you can change if you want and your vertical speed again you can change that to 1800 foot per minute if you want and the glide slope will change or you can change this to two and the feet per minute will change so you can change the values to what you like and you can see here it will take 21 minutes to descend over 93 nautical miles to get from flight level 360 to 8000 feet again if we wanted to continue a further descent down to 4000 and we wanted to target 230 you can see how all of this increases as we go as well so all of that within the Maco simulations Maco manager program which you can download via their website macosim.com where you guys will be familiar of purchasing the scenery from and downloading it of course unless you use the marketplace I hope you found it useful little show and tell if you like to what to expect and all the brand new features that have been pumped into this it's been updated over time and eventually bear in mind as I've mentioned before there will be Navigraph integration into this as well so there will be lots of extra nav data coming soon to the Maco manager very cool indeed so I hope you've enjoyed this very short video showing you all of the updates to the Maco simulations manager make sure you hit like and subscribe down below if you want to get your hands on the channel liveries head to our discord server and I hope to see you all in the live chat when I stream in the very near future. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching.